When working with a site model with elevation change, fences can be added using one of two methods, either a stepped fence or a sloped fence. Before we look at those methods, let's see what happens when you place a long fence on a site model with elevation changes. I'm just going to draw a rectangular fence inside the property line. Then use the send to surface command. Let's look at this in 3D. The fence is floating in two corners and concealed in another. Because this is one object drawn in the polygon mode, it cannot conform to the site model. Let's delete this and draw it in as a stepped wall. First, set the post spacing. Select the railing and fence tool, then go to the tool preferences in the mode bar. Then, the post pane. In the arrangement section, set the desired distance. Here, I'll use six feet. Click OK. Now let's add one panel of fencing to the drawing area. Select the correct design layer. Then add the fence by clicking once to place the first corner, then drag the cursor in the intended direction. Use the tab key to enter the same dimension as the post spacing, in this case 6 feet. Click the same spot twice to end the panel. Next, select the Move by Points tool. Select the Duplicate Mode, Object Retention Mode, and Selection Retention Mode. Then enter the desired number of duplicates. Let's try 20. The first click is going to be in the center of the first post. The second click will be in the center of the second post. Then send all fences to surface. Landmark, send to surface. Now let's look at this in 3D. Each fence panel steps down to match the elevation of the site model.